Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Using a budget allows you to estimate future income and expenses. When creating budgets in QuickBooks Online Plus, you must have your browser set to allow pop-ups for QuickBooks. QuickBooks Online Plus allows you to create profit and loss budgets for fiscal years for income and expense accounts. However, note that you cannot create balance sheet budgets in QuickBooks Online Plus as you can in QuickBooks Pro. Before creating a new budget, you may want to ensure that the fiscal year setting is accurate, as the budget will start at the fiscal year's first month. To check the fiscal year setting, click the gear icon and select the company settings link. Click the Advanced tab. And in the accounting section, check the first month of fiscal year setting. Adjust this setting if necessary. If you would like to build your budget based off your company's historical data, run a profit and loss detail report to acquire that data. Be sure to adjust your dates when running the report to properly reflect a previous year, as the report default is set to display the current fiscal year to date. To create a budget, you then click the gear icon and select the budgeting link from the tools heading. This will direct you to the budgets page and a pop-up box will appear labeled creating a budget. If anyone has previously set up budgets, you will need to click the new budget button to open the interview pop-up. Simply follow the on-screen step-by-step instructions to create your new budget. After you have created your budget, the pop-up will close and the budgets page will now display the budget you have created. If you choose to subdivide your budget rows, the Show Rows As drop-down list allows you to select how the rows are displayed. The two options in the Show Rows As drop-down list are Customers or Accounts. This will either display all the accounts in rows or the customers in rows. When Customers is chosen from the Show Rows As option, then to the right, another drop-down will appear. This drop-down list will be labeled for this account, and you will choose for which account you would like to display the customer budget amounts. If accounts is selected from the leftmost drop-down, then the right drop-down will instead display for this customer. It will then allow you to choose for which customer to display the account budget information. To the right of the drop-downs, ensure that there is a check mark in the Show Blank Rows checkbox to display empty budget rows. You can use the View By drop-down to select the time periods shown within the budget. To edit the information shown in the budget, click a line in the budget that you would like to edit. Then look below the budget list for the Edit table. For the row that you selected, each time period you selected will be displayed. Enter any new budget information or updated budget information into the fields within this table. To enter the same amount into all the fields, enter a value into the upper left field shown and then click the Copy Across button to copy it to all the other fields. To clear all of the information from the fields, click the Clear button. To revert the field values after changing them, click the Revert button. When you've finished your entries, you can then click the Save and Next button to be taken to the next budget row. When you are finished working with your budget, click the Finished button at the bottom of the page to close the Budgets page and return to your previous page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.